Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shogh Mohammed. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with their Majesties and Highnesses, the leaders of the Arab and Islamic nations, marking the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad's birth. His Majesty the King wished them abundant health and happiness, and for their people, further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with their Majesties and Highnesses, the leaders and Prime Ministers of the Arab and Islamic nations, marking the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad's birth. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed his sincere wishes for them of abundant health and happiness, and for their people of further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with their Majesties and Highnesses, the leaders of the Arab and Islamic nations, marking the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad's birth. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished them abundant health and happiness and for their people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met yesterday with the U.S. Secretary of Defense James Mattis at the Pentagon. On the sidelines of the meeting, His Royal Highness and the U.S. Secretary of Defense took part in a signing ceremony to mark the extension of the Bahrain-U.S. Defense Cooperation Agreement. During the ceremony, His Royal Highness highlighted that defense cooperation represents the cornerstone of long-standing bilateral relations between the two countries. His Royal Highness noted that the extension of the Bahrain USDCA signals the next phase in a strategic partnership that has underpinned bilateral ties for over 70 years. His Royal Highness went on to note Bahrain and the US alignment on various international security issues. His Royal Highness and the Secretary of Defense also reviewed further ways of advancing defense cooperation across a number of areas.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister also met yesterday the U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson at the Department of State. During the meeting, His Royal Highness acknowledged the importance of the U.S. administration's ongoing engagement with Bahrain and its allies, noting that enhanced relations between the U.S. and the Kingdom are supporting regional security. The Crown Prince and Secretary of State reviewed past and current day efforts to uphold stability in the region, including Bahrain's active military role in combating terrorist groups and the Kingdom's hosting of over 30 regional and international security partners under the combined task forces. His Royal Highness praised the U.S.'s valuable support to Bahrain security to assist counter-terrorism operations. The Crown Prince welcomed and underscored the importance of continued cooperation between Bahrain and the U.S. on areas of shared concern. His Royal Highness welcomed President Trump's unequivocal stance regarding Iran's interference in the region and its sponsorship of terrorism on the global level. The Crown Prince noted that Bahrain remains deeply concerned about the consistent level of terrorist activity in the region, which indicates increased Iranian support. His Royal Highness and the Secretary of State reaffirmed their country's shared commitment to further strengthening the bilateral relationship through the development of even closer security, trade and cultural ties. The Secretary of State then thanked His Royal Highness for Bahrain's strong partnership with the U.S. Also, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister met the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, Paul Ryan, at the U.S. Capitol. His Royal Highness welcomed the productive meeting with Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, Paul Ryan. He highlighted the deep-rooted ties between Bahrain and the U.S., adding that these bonds are based on shared values of openness and freedom. His Royal Highness also highlighted the complexity of challenges that the region faces and stressed the need to continue strengthening economic, legislative and security cooperation. He said that no challenge is more pressing than the threat posed by extremist ideologies while recognizing the important role strong leg legislative systems play in supporting the global fight against terrorism. Also, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister met with the United States Senate Majority Leader, Senator Mitch McConnell. His Royal Highness Senator McConnell welcomed the close, long-standing ties between Bahrain and the United States. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of the bilateral relationship throughout history, which continues to play a vital role in supporting regional stability in the face of significant multidimensional threats. His Royal Highness and Senator McConnell re re discussed a range of global security issues, in particular the need to strengthen international policy coordination and strategies to counter terrorism and extremist ideologies. His Royal Highness concluded by expressing his appreciation for Senator McConnell's personal efforts in support of the bilateral relationship. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister met a number of Bahraini students studying in the USA at a reception hosted by the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness expressed pride in Bahrain's young people and drew attention to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's comprehensive development program. He encouraged all Bahrainis studying internationally to consider themselves ambassadors for the kingdom. He also remarked that the young students present were a worthy and positive example of the true Bahraini Arab identity and were doing much to strengthen the image of Bahrain abroad. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of nurturing Bahrain's youth and providing them with the opportunities they needed to excel in life, whether in higher education or otherwise. He also emphasized that continued investment in education was a top priority for the kingdom, as education and knowledge are the foundation on which societies build their futures. He highlighted the depth of Bahraini-American ties, noting the volume of cultural exchange and cooperation in the educational sector. He added that the education sector was one of the first to benefit from the historic development of Bahraini-American relations. His Royal Highness spoke with Bahraini students about their academic achievements in the United States, urging them to work hard and make the most of their studies. The Bahraini students expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness, promising to rise to the challenge and make the most of the excellent opportunities they had been given. The reception was attended by the Bahraini delegation accompanying His Royal Highness, as well as a number of guests. Commander of the Royal Guards Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa inspected the readiness column of the forces participating in the joint national anti-terrorism exercise Kingdom Guard 1 of the Bahrain Defense Force, the Ministry of Interior and National Guard, ensuring the preservation of national security and public safety. 
Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad said that the exercise in which the public prosecution is also participating as a legal law is a presumption of a terrorist attack on a shopping complex in the Sif area, which is expected to last 10 hours from the 5th to the 6th of December. The exercise is the result of continuous efforts of cooperation and coordination between the various sectors. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the terrorism is a threat to the national security of any country and that fighting is not the only responsibility of the military and security bodies, but also requires full cooperation and coordination among all state agencies in the context of harnessing the capabilities and to confront any terrorist threat. He stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has the readiness and willingness to deal firmly with all those who seek to undermine the security of the homeland and deal with different situations with the use of advanced techniques in command and in control. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال تعالى في محكم تنزيله من قتل نفسا بغير نفس أو فساد في الأرض فكأنما قتل الناس جميعا ومن أحياها فكأنما أحيا الناس جميعا صدق الله العظيم الإخوة القادة العسكريين والأمنيين الضباط وضباط صف وأفراد قوة دفاع البحرين ووزارة الداخلية والحرس الوطني المشاركين بتمرين مكافحة الإرهاب حرس المملكة واحد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يشرفني أن أنقل لكم تحيات سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة ملك البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى حفظه الله ورعاه على ما تقومون به من جهود كبيرة ومقدرة في الحفاظ والسهر على أمن وحماية المملكة وراحة المواطنين كما أنقل لكم تحيات سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله ورعاه والآن أقول بسم الله نبدأ 
وعلى بركة الله نتوكل ونعلن بدء التمرين الوطني المشترك لمكافحة الإرهاب حرس المملكة واحد والذي يأتي تنفيذه في هذا اليوم بمجمع السيف التجاري حيث يعتبر هذا التمرين استكمالا للتدريب والتنسيق الأمني المشترك والمتواصل فيما بين الوحدات والإدارات المعنية بمكافحة الإرهاب لكل من قوة دفاع البحرين ووزارة الداخلية والحرس الوطني بالتعاون مع النيابة العامة البحرينية كمشرع قانوني الأخوة المشاركين إن الأمانة اللي أولاها سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة ملك البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى حفظ الله ورعاه وحملها لأبنائه منسوب قواته المسلحة الباسلة بكافة صنوفها وإداراتها وأجهزتها الأمنية بالحفاظ على الوطن وعلى أمن وحياة المواطنين والمقيمين وحماية استقرارهم والحفاظ على المكتسبات والمنجزات والمقدرات الوطنية للدولة والشعب في مملكتنا الغالية وحرصة دائما لكي تبقى مملكتنا منارة شامخة للتعايش السلمي ومقصدا للقاصي والداني وواحة للأمن والأمان كما كانت على مر التاريخ والأزمان يا رجال وأنا بإسمكم جميعا ومن هذا الميدان أقول بأننا سنبقى الجنود الأوفياء المخلصين لله ولسيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة وللوطن ونعاهد جلالته بأننا على قدر المسؤولية والأمانة الموكلة إلينا وسنبقى السد المنيع ونقدم دماءنا وأرواحنا فداء في سبيل عزة ورفعة وأمن مملكتنا وسوف نتصدى ونحارب ونضرب بكل ما أوتينا من قوة وبكل حزم كافة الجماعات الإرهابية بجميع أشكالها وألوانها والخلايا المأجورة الرخيصة والمدعومة من الدول المارقة والمتآمرة معها والتي تسعى وتحاول النيل من أمن مملكتنا والاعتداء على مقدراته ومكتسباته وعلى حياة مواطنيه وترويع الآمنين وتدمير مصالحهم وأموالهم ومقومات حياتهم وكرامتهم الإنسانية ومحاولاتهم البائسة للعبث بأمن المجتمع وحرياتهم والتي ستبقى بإذن الله عصية عليهم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته An implementation of the orders of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to allocate and deliver 4,800 housing units, the Assistant Under Secretary for Housing Policy and Services, Dr. Khalid Abdurrahman Al Haydan, said that the Ministry distributed all housing project units to the eligible citizens. He said that the Ministry will start next week to distribute the apartments of the same project according to the planned schedule. He said that the Housing Services Directorate has contacted eligible citizens to complete the procedures of distributing the housing units. He added that the distribution step came after the completion of the project, adding that the government attaches great importance to the housing projects to achieve royal directives as a priority in its work program to contribute to the stability of the Bahraini family and to achieve a decent life for citizens.